Hey guys, this is a video that I've been wanting to make for a very long time. We're gonna look at the Nothing Ear One noise cancelling earbuds. Retails for 99 US dollars, but I'm willing to bet that it's still pretty hard to actually buy these because they're always out of stock. Probably part of Nothing's strategy to squeeze as much hype out of these earbuds as possible. But today, we're gonna find out if it's worth all that hype in the first place by comparing them to some of the best noise cancellers in the market, the Sony WF-1000XM4. And who knows, maybe by the end of this video, we'll finally see right through them. You got that? Was joking about its transparency. And its transparency is the most striking thing about the ear ones. It's nice to know that I can simply look at the case to know if the earbuds are inside or not. These may not be entirely transparent, like how the leaks suggested, but apart from that, there simply is nothing like them in the market. Well, if you're willing to overlook the fact that these are clearly AirPods inspired, but even so, they've improved upon the design by making the unit a bit wider so that it offers a snugger fit, and as a result, it is less likely to shift around in your ears when you're talking or chewing, unlike the AirPods Pro, which I've always had a problem with in terms of fit. For the price, the Ear One's specs look pretty good. It supports Bluetooth 5.2, has between 4 to 5 hours of battery in the earbuds, and up to 24 hours with case, that's with ANC on, IPX4 water resistance, wireless charging, touchpad with volume controls, and app support from the Ear One app. The app feels clean and zippy, but they aren't very feature-rich, limiting what it does to just noise cancelling and transparency toggles, some EQ presets so you have some control over its sound quality, and providing software updates. These do have a low latency mode that, when turned on, reduces latency for a smoother gaming experience. We'll have to see how well that works later. There's also a Find My Earbuds alarm, which could come in quite handy. The app has a strange bug though. Whenever I toggle into transparency or noise cancelling modes for the earbuds, the app doesn't reflect that change. It only shows the change when you tap out at the back into the ANC toggle menu. That's something I hope will be addressed in a future software update. In terms of sound, they're gonna sound pretty decent for most people. They've got large 11.6mm drivers which do deliver on tight punchy bass when it's required, good dynamic range, clarity across the mids, and a compact intimate soundstage. Tracks are well separated enough so that they sound clean overall. They do have quite a bit of roll off in the treble and in the upper mids. Some people may like that because it makes these earbuds sound non-fatiguing as in you can listen to these earbuds for extended periods without discomfort. Others may find that it lacks air, crispiness, and detail in those ranges compared to earbuds within the same price range. Just like the Edifier New Buds Pro which I reviewed over here. So out of the box, some of you may feel the need to bump up its travel, and yes, this you can do in the Ear One app. Compared to the Sony's, well, the Sony's, in my opinion, are a few levels better in terms of sound, in terms of spaciousness, detail, and fidelity. But of course, that may not be such a fair comparison because the Sony's also cost a lot more money. What may be a fairer comparison is if we compare their call quality, because I've seen some earbuds at similar prices to the Ear Ones that can compete with the Sony's in this particular area. So now we're going to test its mic pickup in both a quiet and noisy environment with some really loud cafe style background noise. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Nothing Ear One. Now let's switch out the noise. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Nothing Ear One. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Sony WF-1000XM4. Now let's switch the noise on. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place 
，就是 Sony W F 三一项，对。So when making calls in quiet places, they both are quite decent, somewhat comparable even. But when in noisy places, you will get cleaner calls with the Ear One. While my voice sounded more distant on the Ear Ones, it also sounded cleaner, and the Ear Ones also cancelled more background noise than the Sony's. Now we're gonna see how the Ear Ones fare in terms of active noise cancelling. I've already set it to maximum noise cancelling, and I'm gonna compare them to the Sony's using the same background noise as before. Well, I mean, no surprises there. The ear ones did have decent noise cancelling in the lower frequencies. So, if you're experiencing these earbuds IRL, you're gonna really feel the difference outside in noisy environments. But it's not gonna be as effective across the board as some of the top shelf noise cancellers like the Sony's, which have a heavier focus on blocking frequencies that has to do with voices and background chatter. Now we're gonna look at how much Bluetooth audio lag these earbuds have when playing games or watching videos on both Apple and Android devices. The ear ones have a low latency mode for gaming, so I'm gonna turn that on and compare them with the Sony WF-1000XM4. The Apple device that I'm gonna use is the iPhone SE 2020. For Android, I'm gonna use the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. First, the gaming audio lag test. As a reference point, let's see what the internal latency looks like on the iPhone SE. This is audio straight from the iPhone speaker. Now, the Nothing Ear 1, then the Sony WF-1000XM4, and then we'll repeat the same test on the S21 Ultra. So, with low latency mode on iOS, the Ear Ones have less gaming audio lag than the Sony's, but on Android, there is practically no difference there. So, you're only gonna get a smoother gaming experience than the Sony's on iOS devices. But please note that this lag you're seeing only applies to playing games or real time content. If you're watching videos on your phone using apps like YouTube or Netflix, you're not likely to get much or any lag at all because these apps have their own latency correction that automatically delays the video so that it syncs up better with the audio, like this. Hey guys, one of the biggest problems with most truly wireless earbuds is 
getting decent call quality out of them, especially in noisy places. I mean, without a microphone in front of your mouth to pick up your voice, they've got to rely on what can be described as engineering magic tricks to filter your voice from, well, pretty much everything else. Hey guys, one of the biggest problems with most truly wireless earbuds is getting decent call quality out of them, especially in noisy places. I mean, without a microphone in front of your mouth to pick up your voice, they've got to rely on what can be described as engineering magic tricks to filter your voice from, well, pretty much. So to conclude, there was a lot of hype surrounding the ear ones back when it first launched. And although much of that excitement, that initial hype is now gone, it still is recognized as something iconic and maybe even desired. And part of that reason is that you've got some really big names backing this project. Some of them may be familiar to you, like Mr. iPod, Tony Fadell, Casey Neistat, Liu from Unbox Therapy, and it's so limited. I mean, you can't get them in stores. You can only buy them on Nothing's website and only at certain timings. But is it worth going through all that trouble for them? Having tested these earbuds in person, I would say that it really depends if you want to own something truly unique that's going to turn heads and be a conversation starter, if you want better call quality, this is going to do exactly that. And these are some pretty capable earbuds too that pushes the envelope in terms of value. But it's not going to push the boundaries in terms of performance, whether it be sound quality, features, or noise cancelling. For those, at least for now, you still need to fork out a few extra cash. I do have some gripes about the Ear Ones too. For example, its case is not compact at all. Yes, it's showy, it's got that indent that you can use to grip and spin it like a fidget spinner. There's a fun element to that, but it's not as portable and it is not going to slip into your pocket as easily as, say, the Sony's or the AirPods case. It's also got some noise in the drivers when you're not listening to anything. Could be a software issue or maybe even an engineering issue. I'm not sure, but I do hope that this can be fixed in a future software update. But overall, personally, I like the Nothing Ear One. And I might bring this out from time to time, but as somebody who has easy access to some of the best noise cancelling earbuds, these are not gonna be my daily drivers. That being said, let me know in the comments what you think about the Nothing Air 1. If you like this video, please like and share. And if you want to see more content like this one from this channel, hit subscribe and ring the notifications bell to stay notified of new content from me. Also, a big shout out to these legends who support this channel by contributing a dollar or more per month to the crowdfunding website Patreon. If you want to be a legend too, it's very simple. All you got to do is to support my work on Patreon. That is a great way to help keep this show going and you gain some pretty cool rewards along the way like being credited at the end of every video. So link is in the box down below if you want to help support. I've also got a Discord server. Do join if you want to hang out. More videos coming up soon so don't go away.